Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So today we are doing a four tiered pour. I'm so excited about this one. So just to explain what this is real quick, these are wood panels and they are screwed and glued together and then spray painted with a two in one primer and paint, flat white paint, okay? Um, and on the bottom here we have, I think 10 inches and then eight inches, then six, then four. The 10 and the six are both the three quarter panels and then the eight and the four are the inch, I think it's inch and a half panels. So pretty excited about this. I'm going to be using also the Artist Loft Ready Mixed Pouring Paint. This stuff is a bit thicker and I've never done this on one of the tiered pours. So I'm pretty excited about that. And I'm doing it on the Lazy Susan. So I think that will help get some amazing coverage. And I'm gonna basically be using like all my colors. This is gonna be really colorful. So I've got white, purple, blue. This is a aqua green, some gold, red, pretty much all the colors, even orange. A little bit of orange left. Put my favorite colors on the bottom here. Okay, I have a bowl full of paint here. Now I did not do the math on how much paint it would take to actually cover this. So I'm kind of just guessing to be honest. I'm gonna start off with a little bit of white and I'm gonna pour specifically around the edges here to hopefully help me get full coverage because I do not plan on tilting this at all. The whole point of the spinner is hopefully to help me to spread it out without having to tilt because when you tilt it goes around your squares so you're going to get some odd lines and patterns that you may or may not want so i think this putting just a little bit of this white around will help All right, we've got all the top layers covered, a little bit of the bottom here. So here we go. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and spin. So far, this is actually working out amazingly. Awesome. All right, I'm gonna help some of these edges along here with my fingers and then spin probably one more time. We have really good coverage here. This is also just a little strange the way everything's put together because we have this board actually kind of overlapping the bottom one. So that's gonna affect it a little bit. Okay, here we go. That's awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and leave this. I'm gonna let this drip for quite a while and then we'll come back in and do a close up. You can see we've got like layers of paint as the paint continues to move here and got pretty much full coverage almost at least. So let's let this sit for a while and then we'll be back. All right, coming in for the close up here. I let this sit for probably about a couple hours and I just am in love 
with the way it's cascading down. Look at that. So awesome. So did lose most of the red. You can see a little bit over here on this side. But I don't know if you remember me saying I put my favorite colors in first. That's because I knew I would lose some of the other colors. It's definitely still in there though. Like if you see this part here, you can see the red. It's just kind of mixed in with some of the other colors there. So I'm definitely in love with this. Still a couple spots that didn't quite get covered, like these corners up on the top. And then of course that lip under there, which couldn't really have gotten covered. But I just love, love, love this. I think it's my favorite of my tiered pours so far. So if you didn't see my earlier ones, I'll put some links in the description so you can check those out. Hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you all next time.